Welcome back otters. In this video, we're going to talk about the otter treasury. The treasury itself, it's one of many income streams in the protocol. We just launched our NFT collection. That was a source of income for the protocol. We are about to launch our NFT marketplace. That's going to be another source of income. And all these income streams feed our treasury. But the treasury itself earns yield from strategies that the DAO has voted on. And so you can see on our Dune Analytics page, uh, since we started to sort of optimize the treasury towards earning rewards around the end of January, it's been going quite well. We've focused on using Cheetah strategies. Now this treasury yield has several different benefits to our investors and especially our long-term investors in the form of Pearl Chest, which we're gonna talk about right now. So you can see here on the treasury dashboard that we have our clam and then we have our pearl. Essentially what pearl is, it's just wrapped clam. So when you head over to the stake page, you can input your clam here that you buy from QuickSwap. It says stake, but what really happens is you end up wrapping it into pearl. And one pearl is worth 6.84 clam. And that index number continues to increase. So as you continue to hold your pearl instead of clam, you're essentially getting more clam, or you would if you were to unwrap your pearl back into clam. And so this is one way, and this is this index is rising at a rate of 14% per year. But with the pearl chest, not only are you getting that benefit, but you're actually getting more pearl on top of the pearl that you uh, had originally. And so it's, it's sort of double the benefit. The yield from the pearl chest is dependent on the treasury revenue. And so you see right here that the 180 day chest currently has a, an APY of 89%. Since we just are now uh, getting back to our backing price, which you can see here is 492, clam price is at 457. But the pearl chest APY is now being voted on. So we're talking in the DAO currently about how we want to reward long-term holders when the price is above backing. Because right now the APY is lower because what's actually happening is there is a buyback protocol in place. When the price of clam is below the backing price, there are buybacks in place. And so that same treasury yield that's used to reward long-term holders also helps and supports the clam price through buybacks because the treasury yield is then used to purchase clams from the open market and pass that along to the pearl holders and pearl chest holders. And so that's the APY that you see here. When we're above backing price, the APY is going to increase dramatically, or at least that's the current plan uh, from the DAO. So we will be able to reward long-term holders in that way. So I just want to recap sort of how this whole mechanism works. When the price is below backing, the protocol is helping the clam price move towards backing. When the price is above backing, the protocol rewards long-term holders with additional emissions in the form of APY. And so that will always keep the clam price, or at least there's artificial pressure to keep the clam price in the neighborhood of the backing price. The backing price itself is simply the treasury USD value divided by the held supply of clam. So you see here that held supply is 539,000 clam at the moment. So it's treasury value divided by the 539k. We also have bonding mechanisms when you're above backing price. What that does is essentially allows investors to supply liquidity that the protocol wants. So in this case, we have one bond currently because we're below backing and we're going to add more when uh, we're above backing. But we have a MI bond currently. And what that does is the investor supplies the MI, gives the MI to the protocol. They get discounted clam in return. And that clam is vested for five days. You actually receive S clam, which is just staked clam. So picture uh, the, the yields that just holding on to Pearl gives except it's in the form of clam. So you'll end up with more clam after five days than you started with. So if you had $100 worth of my, or you might get $110 worth of clam. It depends on a lot of factors. The protocol then takes that my and will turn it into a my USDC, and that starts earning yield. So you're contributing to the treasury, you're getting discounted clam, and the treasury contribution that you made is now also earning yield to grow the treasury. When the treasury grows, the backing price increases, it's a very powerful dynamic where you have this token that's loosely staying towards this backing price and rewarding you along the way. So before signing off, I just want to say that this entire protocol has been designed top to bottom by the DAO and reshaped and molded into the best version of itself for several months now. And that's a credit to the ingenuity 
of the Otter Clam community. And so I encourage you to join this community and join our Discord and really just start to throw your own ideas in there and really just help us to thrive and to become more profitable to investors, more fun, and just really find great ways to enjoy the DeFi space. And so with that, I say goodbye and see you downstream.